Oh, hello there. Merry Christmas. I hope this video finds you well and having fun with the family and all that. So, this video is probably going to be irrelevant to a lot of people out there. Well, not a lot because there's only about 40 subscribers, not even. So, yeah, I'm talking to myself again. Anyway, so yeah, this is aimed at the people. There's a couple of super lucky people in uh, Adelaide who had mushy kits bought for them by their loved ones the other day. Or some people bought them for themselves. Treat yourself. Because um, I don't usually sell kits. I don't have like the uh, the wrappers and the pamphlets and this and that with all the information on how to look after them. So I said I'll do a little video. It's just easier, less wasteful. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Mum had this waiting for me when I got here today. Merry Christmas. And it just fits the large head. Anyways, so that's what you were given. Where are we? A bag of stuff that you're thinking, what is this? All right, usually when we sell these kits, they've been in what's called incubation already for 10 days, 10 to 14 days. So in 10 to 14 days, that kit will be solid white. It'll be solid white. That's the mycelium, which is the main part of the mushroom organism, will eat through that sawdust. It's called colonizing, colonize that sawdust. So you may be able to see in your kits like little seeds they look like seeds because they are seeds um that's what the grain that's called the grain spawn so like the white mycelium was in a bag with the grains and then in a lab environment so a few days ago in front of flow hoods and stuff we introduce the like we uh introduce the grain spawn into the bag seal it up usually that would go into incubation for 10 days 14 days and then we would sell the kit so after that, something like this will come out of the kit. So that's just a little baby cluster. They'll get bigger than that, but that'll give you gives you an idea of the the cycle that you're looking at. So what do you need to do? Just a little eggnog. What do you need to do? Incubation. You don't have to cut the bag, you don't have to open the bag, you don't have to do anything to the bag at the moment. All you do, all that it needs, is a dark place, a cool dark place. Say between 20 degrees and 24 degrees. Doesn't matter if it's slightly under, doesn't matter if it's slightly over. That's just the optimum range. So we're talking in a cupboard, in the kitchen, in the laundry, when I first started, I even used to put it in a washing basket and just put a towel over it. You can find that you go back and check it every day because you want to know what's going on. So there'll be enough air exchange and whatever um, if you go down that option. But a cool, dark place. You just put it in there and you wait. So there's nothing wrong with you going back there every day and seeing if there's anything happening. To be honest, first couple of days, you probably won't notice much. But then after that... You'll notice this white, yeah, I can already see a little bit. So I made this one two days ago when I made yours. I can already see it sort of starting to jump off. See, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Nah, can't see it. You'll notice the white stuff, the mycelium, starting growing out from that grain. If you're anything like me, you'll probably check it five times a day. You won't disturb it. The only thing I do say, don't shake it up, don't move it around. Just let it be, let it stay like that. If for some reason it does get shaken up or whatever, just you can just like just settle it like that. It's not the end of the world. So, 20 to 24 degrees, dark. That'll take about 10 days. Sometimes it takes eight or nine days. Sometimes it takes 12. What you're looking for is you want this bag to end up being a white solid mass see that white though this is the same shit as what was in there the sawdust white solid bag at that point what do you do all right that's time to go into the fruiting phase so you'll notice on your bags i've put like a little cut up the top so you just want to slice that little cut 
doesn't have to be exactly on it, it's just a little cut so that you can force the air out. So once that's cut, you, you fold the top half of the bag down and just, just with your hands, just squash the excess air out. So see that's, where is it? It's just folded. You don't have to stick it down with sticky tape, nothing like that, just fold it, squash the ex excess air out. Easy. Next stage, you're gonna be cutting on that line, that cross. Again, if it's slightly off the line, doesn't matter. It's just a guide, a cross. Some people cut Vs, some people cut Hs, whatever. Just cut something. Don't remove those flaps. So you're just cutting slits, all right? An X. You don't cut out the triangle. Some people have, and I don't know why, they cut the triangle out. No, no. Just cut the slits, okay? Easy. That's all the cutting you have to do. That's, there's nothing else like that. Where do you want to put it in the house for fruiting? What does it like? Okay. Similar temperatures. So the varieties that you have, some, some people got yellow, some people got blues. Can't remember what else. They can handle below 20, above 20. What you don't want, you don't want it on the windowsill in direct sunlight. You don't want it directly in front of a heater, directly in front of a fan, like drying it out. So think kitchen bench, think laundry bench, not in the cupboard anymore. Because you want ambient light, you want daylight, indirect daylight, and you want fresh air. So these things are like humans. They breathe oxygen, right? Not like that tree, it's the opposite, it gives out oxygen. These things are the opposite. Oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. So you need like fresh air. So bench top is cool. Laundry is cool. Around 20 degrees. You don't want it up around 30. If it's 20, 24, 18, 19, whatever. That's, it'll work. So you found your spot. You've pushed the air out of the bag. You've folded the bag over. You've cut the slits. You've put it on the bench. Twice a day. You, with a, like a hand pump, like a, what's it called, water sprayer, you want to you spray between the block and the plastic, right? So what you do, you just lift up the little plastic, little flap, and two pumps, three pumps, whatever. Don't lose sleep over it if you miss one. It's not going to die. But ideally, once in the morning, once at night, if it's a really hot, hot dry day in your house, Three times, four times. What you don't want, you don't want it to dry out. What you do want is you want it to have, like a, they call it like a little microclimate. So between the plastic and the block is where the water should be, right? That creates the humidity, creates the conditions that make the mushrooms start to pin or like, like a seed coming out of the ground. Pinning is like baby mushrooms, all right? That's all you gotta do, that's it. Twice a day, couple of squirts, that's it. After probably three days, maybe less, you'll start to see the little lumps, little little dots forming. Then you'll start watching them like a hawk probably. Every day after that, they pretty much double in size. So like, once you notice those things, within a week to 10 days, You'll have mushrooms, right? This thing here, I think they started maybe, I don't know, I think I first saw them like maybe five days ago. So like in two days time, they'll be like more than double that size. They'll be about 500 grams, 600 grams. So once you've done that, what do you do? Pick them all at once. Don't just pick them off one at a time. That's what I recommend. You can do it the other way if you want, whatever, it doesn't matter. I recommend, so if it's a big cluster, imagine a big cluster, like probably that big, just put your hand under there, like you sort of just cup it, like that, and then with your other hand, just hold the block, and then you just sort of lift up, so see there, if you imagine that block was being held, the whole cluster will come away in one shot, it'll just off, and then you'll be left with, underneath at the base, it'll just be like, it's called substrate, so like the mycelium and the sawdust, and you just trim that off. Gone. 
storage, Tupperware container is fine. Just put a little bit of paper towel down the bottom, a little bit of paper towel on top, helps with the condensation, give you an extra couple of days. Someone's coming to interrupt me. Anyways, um, yeah, so you'll get a week out of them, easy. Like picking them fresh, you'll get a week, up to two weeks, depending on what you're doing with them, how good your fridge is. Um, what, what do you do next with the block? <coughs> oh, hello there. Hello. It's the mother. Um, you, will get an, you can get another flush. You can get second flush, you can get a third flush. You can get lots of flushes. Each time they will get a little bit smaller. Each time they will be slightly less quality. But they'll keep coming and it's interesting. So what do you do? How do you do that? Once you've picked that, that first cluster, as best you can, just, just just give it a spray and then just close that plastic flap up because the, the growth of the mushroom will like sort of force it away. So just close it best as you can so that it's not losing the moisture that's within the block. It's not losing like, um, what's it called? Yeah, it's not drying out. So after, some people say like let it rest a week. What's that mean, let it rest? Well, just leave it in the same spot, honestly. Some people soak them, some people put them back in the cupboard, get them out. I don't know. You can do that if you want, but you don't have to. Um, so yeah, keep that little plastic thing closed. Then, to be honest, you'll probably notice them like either from the same spot, they'll start growing, or they'll start growing from just to the side of like where you broke that first cluster off. Uh, what do you do then? Repeat. Oh, I should just move the spring. Cheers for that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they'll start growing, just repeat it. So, same thing. Two squirts a day. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, so, the first flush you can expect 500 to 700 grams. Next one, maybe a couple of hundred grams and it will diminish, diminish. But you, you can get up to a kilo out of a block. What do you do at the end of it? You can compost it. So like the, the leftover stuff is compostable. It's, it's actually a valuable sort of uh, um, additive for like gardens and garden beds, whatever. If you're not into that, green bin it. But there's no reason you can't just squash it into your garden in the backyard, just stomp it. And you'll probably get little baby mushrooms growing up at some stage. Uh, the plastic bag, well, that's got to go in the bin. So I'm getting rid of those next year, so it's probably one of the last runs of kits I'll do. Um, I don't know, that's it. Good luck. If you see anything that doesn't look right, you can, I'm happy for you to send me photos and stuff. If for some reason a whole heap of green fuzzy stuff starts growing in there, it means something's gone wrong, so let me know. Not at your end, at my end. So let me know, and I'll... Uh, I'll swap it for you. Try again. But yeah, you shouldn't see any green shit in there. You shouldn't see any pink like stuff. Something you might see as it colonizes. You can see, I don't know, she loves it. Um, orange, like orange liquid that will start pooling there. They're called metabolites. So that's just a, that's a byproduct of the mushroom breaking down the sawdust. So a lot of people freak out at that. Don't, it's normal. Um, if you're not sure, just send me a picture on Instagram. Or if you got my, 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 bleh, 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 need some more eggnog. Some, uh, yeah, my mobile. So, yeah, probably made that twice as long as what I needed to, but I don't know, just wanted you to have all the information. Um, yeah, that's it. Incubation. 10 days to 14 days. In the dark, dark-ish, 20 to 24 degrees, give or take. After that, cut the bag at the top, force the air out, fold it over, find your spot, bench in the kitchen, bench in the laundry, indirect sunlight, uh, ambient light, uh, same temperatures. And then you cut the bag, you don't get rid of the plastic, you square it twice a day between the plastic and the the block and yeah once the mushrooms start growing some people say don't squirt the mushrooms but whatever squirt the mushrooms give them a little zhuzh. they will dry out a little bit you're not in a perfect fruiting room 
but they will be good. Um, yeah, good luck. Merry Christmas, and um, hit me up if you've got any questions. Hopefully that answers everything. Uh, any problems? If something doesn't go right, I'll swap the block for you. No sweat. Try again. Uh, have a good one. If you've got any friends that want any next year, you know where to go. Ciao.